If you're a Virginia landowner, you probably have some kind of invasive plant species on your property that you might be looking to control. You have a few different options in your toolbox. You might want to use a manual control method or a biocontrol, or you may be looking to use chemical treatment methods. So today we are going to walk you through all those different chemical treatment methods that you may need to use at home on your property. That's right, Lindsay. Chemical treatment can be one of the most effective methods of controlling invasive species. It's important to realize that there's no one-size-fits-all method or product for every species or site. So make sure that you read the pesticide label and always wear your PPE. Absolutely. Make sure you are staying safe out there when you are using chemicals. Now we are going to head off into the woods and get to work. Come on. The first method we're going to chat about is foliar spraying, which involves applying a low dose concentration of herbicide directly to the leaves of a plant. You want to make sure that you are completely covering all of the leaves because if your application is patchy, it might not be completely effective. Applications must occur after full leaf out. So typically this is sometime from summer to fall. You want to make sure that you are applying until wet, but not to the point of running off of the leaves. Make sure that you are not spraying above your head and that you're mindful of weather conditions. Don't spray when it's windy or if there's rain in the forecast. Now with foliar applications, it typically takes about a week or two to see results. So don't get impatient if you don't see changes right away because they're coming. Foliar is a great method for large infestations because you can quickly cover a lot of area. The basil bark method involves applying your herbicide directly to the base of the plant that you're treating. You need to mix your chemical in oil so that it can penetrate through the bark. The basil bark method can be used at any time of year unless the ground is frozen or when plants are about to leaf out in early spring. You'll want to clear out any vegetation at the base or vines on the trunk and then apply your pesticide in a solid band around the entire trunk from the ground to about 12 to 20 inches up. Again, you'll want to wet your target, but not to the point of runoff. This method works best on trees or shrubs with smooth bark about 8 inches in diameter or smaller. I like this method because it's quick and we can cover a lot of ground. The cut stump method is exactly what it sounds like. It involves cutting a tree or shrub pretty close to the ground and then immediately applying a concentrated herbicide to the remaining stump. You want to target the cambium layer. So on tiny stumps, you can treat the entire stump, but on larger ones, such as this one, you can actually just target the very outside of the stump. This method is most effective during the summer and fall and that needs to be applied within about the first 15 minutes or so, otherwise it is not effective. I like this method because there's not a lot of risk for applicator exposure or risk to non-target plants. Like cut stump, the hack and squirt method is exactly what it sounds like. Use a sharp tool to make a series of cuts about one to two inches apart, encircling the entire trunk of the tree. You wanna get deep enough to penetrate through the bark and into the cambium, but without girdling the tree. Then, use a squirt bottle to apply concentrated herbicide into the cut. Try to leave a little fringe. This helps keep the herbicide from dripping out of the cut. You'll need to apply your herbicide fairly quickly after cutting. The best time for hack and squirt is late spring, summer, or fall. This method is great because it's fast and easy and there's low chance of exposure to non-target plants. We hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to always read the label and wear your PPE. Carrie is absolutely right there. And thank you so much, Carrie, and your resource management team at Virginia State Parks. We're so grateful to have them with us today. If you need more information on invasives, herbicides, all that good stuff, check out our website and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Thanks.